Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Dave, uh, thank you for watching. It's been a while since I made a video. I'm hoping to do a three part series uh, based on this sewing machine that I recently just purchased. Uh, it was through one of the largest retailers in the world, but I don't wanna promote them. Uh, I hope everybody is supporting all small businesses during this pandemic. Uh, however, this was purchased for $137 Canadian. And I ordered this Saturday night. Today is Monday, January 25th, and it's here. So I, I have to give props to the delivery service, the uh, big box retailer. It's not even a big box, it's a huge company, conglomerate. Regardless, it's here. We're gonna do an unboxing video today. So I got my knife out. I haven't even opened this yet. I haven't done anything. It's on my doorstep. We're gonna see what's inside. Alright, now it seems pretty well packaged. I was given the option of having it shipped in the original packaging, but then somebody would know what it is. They could just look at it and know exactly what it is. So it seems okay so far. This has come from China, I believe. I don't want to misquote that. I will put a comment to accurately describe where it's from. So you can see it's just styrofoam, nothing too fancy here. Oh, I gotta cut. It seems well packaged. Uh, as I said before, it's come from very far away. This is what you get. This is made in China. That's that's what you get. Um, it looks like all the pieces are in here, I think. I got, there's a thread. It looks like it's probably number 69, but I'll have to double check, get back to you. This, if you've ever seen one of these machines, is the base that I'm not gonna be using. I'm gonna make it my own base. Um, everything seems to be coated in oil, a bit oily. That's probably so it doesn't rust. Here are the legs for that base, which I would like to use for something else. So far, they're all there. Um, oh, this is an important item. This little wire, if you look closely, I'll just, hopefully you can zoom in on that, uh, has a little hook. This is how you retrieve the thread when you thread the needle. This is important. Now, I don't know if anybody is familiar with these machines, but it's basically a shoe repair patcher. Uh, it's in a bag here, I'm gonna just rip this open. Uh, this is the main arm that we're gonna, looks like it's balanced in a certain way, which you're gonna use to rotate. This is a hand crank machine. There is no motor. Uh, we have some of the other assembly parts here. Well, this looks like the main apparatus. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna be honest, this is not the most fantastic looking machine. Um, we'll hold it up, we'll give you guys sort of a better look. It looks like it's got a needle already in it. I, I guess that's to show that it can sew. It has some thread still in it. Uh, it's green and it is coated in a some kind of film. I can feel it on my hands, uh, grease, oil, whatever it might be, I don't know for sure. But I will uh, take it all apart. I'm gonna clean it. That'll be the next video because we're gonna spray paint this green to either a blue or black. I haven't decided yet. So that's the main machine. We'll see what else we got here. So they have included, I guess, for the legs, it looks like three little rubber caps so you don't scratch your floors. There is a bobbin, two bobbins. It looks like two bobbins. There might be one in, we're gonna look inside. There might be one inside already. And then a bunch of bolts, which I guess is to fasten it to this makeshift stand that they sent you. But this is the packaging that you get. Doesn't look that great. You can see the oil residue, whatever they put on it. Um, basically, like I said, tomorrow, I'm gonna clean it all up. I'm gonna take it all apart spray paint the main frame it, it really is greasy if anybody's going to buy one of these but again this is 137 dollars canadian if i was going to guess 
10, 15 pounds at the most. Um, and once I get it put together, cleaned up, that'll be the next video. Uh, we're gonna start sewing in the third and final video, and then I'll evaluate this particular machine. But for $137, I think it's a good deal. I know during this time, money is important to everyone. I, I feel that even if this thing isn't 100% amazing, it's not breaking the bank and uh, I'm sure I can get it up and running well. So hopefully you'll tune in for video number two that's going to be later on this week and that machine will be cleaned and painted and we'll just go over some of the assembly that I had to do to get it all together and then the video number three will be us actually using it and little tips and tricks to get it running as good as we can. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, everybody says like and subscribe. You don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe. Hopefully you'll come back and watch another video. Have a great day.